Warm greetings, good people. We meet once again. We are now looking at agricultural marketing and the management. This is a topic or a chapter that you will get in paper two, question two. It's worth 30, 50 marks in total, 15 marks in section A, and 35 marks in section B, which is your question two. Let us check what is expected from us when we look at this topic. We have to define marketing. We will define three times actually. We will define marketing. We will define selling. We will also define butter trade. It's very important for you to understand these terms, these three terms, because you can get them in section A, especially in 1.3. So we will define those three terms, take note, marketing, selling and the butter trade which is buttering we will also tabulate the differences between marketing and selling so you may end up getting a question that talks about the differences between marketing and selling because we have to understand that there is a difference between marketing a product and the selling a product we will see this difference soon we have to also talk about the marketing functions they are agricultural marketing functions when we talk about the agricultural marketing functions we will categorize them into three we have exchange functions we have physical functions and facilitating functions it's very important for you to know which functions fall under physical function which functions fall under facilitating functions and you have to understand how do we describe or how do we explain each and every function, especially the physical functions. Those are the ones that they like to, to examine in section B. But we will get into that and we will try to explain it in a way that there is no question that will give you some difficulties. Let us start by looking at the definitions, good people. We said we have marketing when we talk about marketing we say this is a process this process it moves a product from the farm up until it reaches the consumer the consumer it's whereby there is a market at the market so this is a product of moving or this is a process of moving a product from the farm to the consumer this process it can involve some few steps. It can involve a step of producing the product, which is production. It can involve a step of setting a price for the product, which is pricing. It can involve a step of distributing the product or transporting or placing the product. And then it can also involve a step of promoting the product, which is promotion. So we call this one marketing. We are saying it's a process of moving a product from the farm to the market or to the consumer. And we are saying when we move the product from the farm to the consumer, we have to start by producing the product. We have to set a price for the product. We have to distribute the product to the marketplaces. And we also have to promote the product whereby we tell people about the product and also try to convince them to buy the product. But we'll get into this one when we look at marketing mix. Let us see what else can we get from this one. We also have the next term, selling. Selling, it's very easy. We are saying in selling, this is the exchange. Exchange of what? Of goods. For what? For cash. It's a process or it's an exchange whereby the seller is giving the buyer a certain certain goods and the buyer will give the seller cash so it's simple with this one there's nothing nothing to confuse yourself with but now we have to make sure that we come up with a difference between selling and butter trade which is buttering in butter trade we are saying this is now the exchange of goods or services for goods or services 
We are no longer exchanging goods for cash, but we are exchanging a service with another service or we're exchanging goods with another goods. Maybe you are giving your you are giving the other individual or maybe two farmers are exchanging maybe livestock. Maybe there is one who is giving the other a goat, the other one is giving a sheep. So it is exchange of goods in that way. Or they're exchanging what? Services. It depends on what kind of services they are exchanging. So three terms that we have checked. Like it or not, you may find one of them in the exam. Section A. Marketing. Moving a product from the farm to the consumer. Selling. Exchanging of goods or for cash butter trade exchanging of goods for goods or exchanging of services for services let us get to this important part let us make a difference between marketing and selling you must be able to tabulate the differences between marketing and selling the first thing when we talk about the differences here we say In marketing, the emphasis, where do we put the emphasis? We put the emphasis on the customer's want. What is the product that is required by the customer? But when we talk about selling, the emphasis here is focuses on the product, the agricultural product. We don't care what the customer wants. We just want to sell our product. Whether the customers are in need of the product or the customers are not in need of the product. But when you talk about selling, you just want to sell the product. But in marketing, you check first what is it that is needed by the customers. When we look at the next difference, we say The kind of management that we'll get in marketing, it's based or it's oriented on profit. But the kind of management that we'll get in in selling, it's based on the sales volume. So the farmer in marketing will manage his marketing or his production based on getting what a profit but as for selling the farmer just want to sell the product he's satisfied that i've sold more products but the question is are you getting the profit or what so that's the difference between the two the management in marketing is based on or is oriented on profit the management in selling is oriented on sales volume coming to the next one When we talk about the planning in marketing, we say the planning is a long-term plan. But in selling, it's a short-term plan. So when you do the the, the planning in in, in marketing, you will focus on the long-term plan. You you, you check the, the new products that are coming that people are willing to get. You also check how will this product of mine benefit me in the future. But when you talk about the, 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 the planning in selling, we say it's just a short term. You focus on selling the current product. If this product comes out of fashion, then it means you are no longer producing. If this product is no longer in need or in demand by the people, you are no longer, you, you, you will get what? A loss. So when it comes into planning, in marketing, long term. In selling, we talk about short term planning so those are some of the differences that we that we 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 can check here let's quickly look at the next part let's quickly look at the next part when we look at the next part we talk about a marketing mix it will also highlight some few things that we talked about when we were defining marketing when we look at a marketing mix we there is an approach good people that each and every company must use or is supposed to use when they are marketing their product. This approach that a company is supposed to use when they are marketing their own product, we call it a marketing mix. It's the approach that a company takes to market their product. This marketing mix 
it is made up of four Ps. Hence, we say it's a marketing mix. It's a mix of four Ps. It is made up of what? Of four Ps or it consists of four Ps. Let us check which are those Ps and how do they apply in this marketing mix. One, we have the first P, which is product. You want to market your product. There's no way that you will take your product to the market without producing it. So the first thing you have to produce the product, the first P is product. Sometimes they say it's production. Whereby you produce the product in your farm. Maybe it could be whereby you, 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 you farm your product. Whatever that you do or you, 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 you talk about producing the eggs that you want to produce. So the first P is product. What about the second P? After producing the product, you have to set a price of that product. Whereby we say it's pricing. You come up with the price of the product. We will look at the factors to consider when setting a price when we check at some important marketing information. After setting the price of the product, you have to place the product whereby you distribute the product into the market places. So this, the third P is place. What about the fourth P? The fourth P is whereby you are now promoting the product, which is promotion. So in promotion, we'll, we'll talk about promotion later. In promotion, we say it's whereby you are telling people about the product and also convincing them to buy the product. We will look at the different examples or ways of promoting a product. So in this case, in this part, we're talking about what a marketing mix. A marketing mix, we are saying, is an approach that a company takes to market a product. Now the marketing mix, we're saying it is made up of four P's. You must know the four P's. Product, price, place, and promotion. In some cases, they will say, List the four P's in correct order. Ne? So this is how you are supposed to list them. Let us get to the most important part, good people. Let us get to the most important part. Functions of agricultural marketing. We said earlier on, when we look at the functions of agricultural marketing, we must understand that they are subdivided into Three, exchange agricultural marketing functions, physical agricultural marketing functions, and facilitating agricultural marketing functions. I will try to explain each of them step by step and also show you how it can be examined. The exchange marketing functions, we are just talking about the... the, the the, the selling, which is the exchange of goods for cash or the exchange of services for services. Let's put our focus on physical functions. We have four physical functions. It's very important to know the four physical functions. In some cases, you can get a question in section A, whereby they, they are saying one of the following is not a physical function of marketing. So you must know which are the four physical functions of marketing. One, we have transportation. We will define and talk, we will define and explain transportation. We also have storage, whereby you store a product. We'll talk about this one. You also have processing, which can also be called value adding. You also have packaging. So when they say one of the following is not a physical function, you must first know the four physical functions. Transportation, storage, value adding, which can also be called processing, and packaging. If you find one that is not part of these four, then that is the one that is not part of them. We will talk about those functions when we do some revision lessons. Okay, fine. Let us first look at the first one. Transportation. Transportation, we are saying, people, this is a physical function whereby 
a product is being moved or is moving a product from the farm to a storage facility or straight to the market. One can say is taking a product from the farm to the market. Let's take note of this part. Sometimes in the exam, they will give you this statement, moving a product from the farm to the market, taking a product from the farm to the market. Then they ask you, which marketing function is this one? You will say it's in transportation. Sometimes they will not give you the statement. They will give you a picture. So I want you to understand that if you see that there is a truck, it could be a truck or any transporting vehicle. If you see that this is a transport then you must know that the marketing function that you are talking about is in transportation. So you will see when we get these questions, you will also come across some few questions in the question papers that you will get. But we are saying transportation, taking a product from the farm to the market. How do they show it in section B in some cases? They will give you a transport vehicle. It could be this truck. It could be even a tractor. It could be even a bucky, depending on what transport the, they, they, they decide to use. Which is a, what is the other one that we are supposed to talk about? Storage. Take note of this one, people. I will try to to, to, to make a difference between these two types of storage, ne? you will see on the next slide. When we look at storage, we are saying products are kept on a farm before they are transported to the market. It's whether you keep the products in a farm before you transport them to the market or we keep the products in a warehouse Maybe we see that, okay, fine, there's an oversupply in the market. So we decide to stock the product. So in some of the cases, you will find that they give you this. one, Or they say product is being placed in a warehouse. Then they ask you, what is the marketing function that has been shown there? You will say it's storage. Okay, good people. In some cases, you will find that a product has been kept in a cool place. They keep the product in a cool place because they want this product to last longer and increase its shelf life. That kind of storage, we call it a refrigerated storage or cold storage. So what do we mean by a refrigerated storage? Products are kept in a cold place to give them a long shelf life or to increase their shelf life. You will get this one in a form of a statement, whether in section B, question 2, or else in section A, maybe 1.3 or 1.4. It's easy to understand this one. Let's talk about processing. Let's talk about processing. You will also get processing when we talk about the marketing chain. When we look at processing, good people, or which can also be called the value adding, processing, we are saying, in this case, it's whereby a raw agricultural product is converted or is changed or is altered. Take note of this. It can be converted, changed, or altered. A raw agricultural product is converted to a more consumable product or to a more useful product to what to consumers. So we are saying is a process of converting, changing, altering an agricultural product from its raw state to a form that is more useful to what? To consumers. You can come up with some different examples here. You can talk about changing an orange, an orange fruit 
to an orange juice. Take note of the examples because in the exam, section A, they give you the examples. You change an orange juice, an orange fruit to an orange juice. You can also change grapes to what good people to a wine. You can also change milk to cheese, milk to yogurt, milk to cold milk, depending on what is it that you use. So you can also check at some few examples that I'm highlighting here. In an exam, they can also give you the picture that you have here. And then they say, what is it? You can see that here, they are changing the raw product to another product. Ne? So we say that is processing. But good people, it's very important for us to understand the good things about this process. The advantages of what of processing. Remember we say processing, changing the raw agricultural product to a more useful product. And when we change this product, maybe we can change it in a processing factory. Let us check what are the advantages of processing. One, it will reduce the wastage or decomposition. Let's say you see that these grapes of yours or these orange orange fruits of yours they are now getting spoiled they are spoiled they, 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 they are being spoiled so what you do you can decide to reduce the wastage of these oranges by doing what by processing them by changing them from its raw state which are the orange fruits to an orange juice so one of the advantage reduces wastage Two, remember we say this process can take place in a processing factory. So what happens that there are people who will change the orange juice, the orange to an orange juice. There are people who will change the milk to cheese. There are people who will change the grapes to wine. And these people will be employed in the processing in the processing factory. So we can say it provides job opportunities. Another one we can say it increases value of the product, not meat, value of the product. We can also say it's in a way of overcoming oversupply. Let's say there is more product in the market, oversupply, there's more product in the market than what the consumers are willing to buy. So how do you make sure that you avoid the oversupply? Convert the product to another product which can be more useful to the consumers. You can also say it makes it easier for packaging or easier for hanging. Then we can also talk about increasing the shelf life of the product. So these are the advantages. Make sure that you are, you master at least or yes, you master at least a minimum of three. Reduce wastage, job opportunities, increasing the shelf life of the product. The next or the last one, packaging. When we look at packaging, this is a marketing function whereby products are packed or are put into containers. It could be any kind of container. It could be boxes. It could be cartons. Depending on the kind of container that they're using. It could be bottles. Ne? It could be tins. Any kind of container, but in packaging, you are putting a product into containers or packing a product into container. And then we call that one packaging. And then you can even see the picture that we have there, whereby the product is being put in the container. Now, we must take note of the fact that when you are packaging the product, there are aspects, there are guidelines that we must follow when we are packaging the product. What are those guidelines? The aspects or guidelines. One, we are saying, the, the packaging, it must show useful information, which is product identification. It must show useful information. You talk about the, 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 the size of the product. You talk about the way this product was produced. If you talk about food, you must also provide us with what? With ingredients of, of, of that one. You can also talk, talk, tell us whether was this food produced in an environmentally friendly way or not, whereby we talk about sustainable marketing. We will talk about that one. You can also 
you you can also talk about the country of origin where was this product produced ne? so we we would about the brand exactly so we are saying this package the packaging it must show us useful information because most of the consumers now they also check that the useful information another one the material that is used to package the product it must be recyclable so packaging material must be recyclable or biodegradable so that's why they that's what they are trying now that almost all the products that we are using they must be they must be packed in a material that can be recyclable we also say the product must protect the product from mechanical damage and the package must protect the product from mechanical damage we also say the container must Make sure that the product is enclosed nicely for easy handling. We also say head, head risk containers may not be used. So we must make sure that the container that they are using, it, does, it is not toxic. It does not have chemicals that may end up getting into the product, which can affect the consumers when they eat it. So these are the aspects that we must consider when we are packaging the product they are easy just make sure that you are able to recall at least or a minimum of three in the exam let's quickly look at the facilitating functions i will focus more on three here we have standardization we have grading we have financing we have risk bearing we have market intelligence which is one of the important one we have product design together with customer support when we look at standardization it's simple standardization we are saying is the process of setting standards or specifications for produce according to which according to which products are graded and priced in this case good people we are saying we set products or we arrange products based on uniformity we arrange products based on uniformity. But the division we say setting standards or specifications for produce or for products according to which products are created or priced. So we want to know we want to know that these products of this same size they are together, these products of this same quality they are together, these products of this same color they are together. So we set the products or we arrange the products based on their uniformity. Grading is the process of setting agricultural products according to what? To set standards according to set standard that is the key part according to what to set standard grade one of the x grade two of the x grade three of the x meat we have also have different groups of meat ne? this a this group a this grade a there is also grade b so that's why we do when we talk about what we talk about grading the next one you talk about market intelligence market intelligence this is the process of collecting interpreting and disseminating market information in this case you check whether this group of people what kind of a product that they want you check the information about your consumers what is the information about the consumers you end up interpreting the information about the consumers then you also have the financing the risk bearing the customer pro the customer support and also the product design and promotion okay good people we we can say now we are done this is what i want you to note here the, the definitions marketing selling butter trade the differences between selling and marketing make sure that you are able to recall at least three you must know all of them but if it's difficult just know about three of them good people the marketing mix it goes with the four piece you must know the four piece the marketing functions physical marketing functions and facilitating marketing functions let us check something make sure that you take note of this part let us see how we can practice we have some questions to focus on here i'll just give you three questions this diagram it represents marketing functions 
And if you look at this diagram, if we say it represents marketing functions, the first thing that you must note, you must know what is marketing function A, what is marketing function B, what is marketing function C. If you look at A, there is something that they are doing to the product. They are changing the product to another product. Let's say this is the raw agricultural product. They are changing it to what? To a processed product. We said what do we call the process whereby we are changing, altering, converting the raw agricultural product to a more useful product. We said it's what good people? Thank you. We said it's processing. So this one will say it's processing. Coming to B. You can see that we assume that here there is a product. What are they doing to the product? Maybe they are moving it from the farm to what? To the market. We said what do we call that one? Transportation. Transportation. C. What are they doing with C? Now they are taking the product into containers. They are taking the product into containers. Packing the product into containers. What do we call that one, good people? We say this packaging. Packaging. Simple. But then we are not answering the questions. Let us see what did the question want. The first question it says identify. What is it that we are identifying? Marketing function B and marketing function C. Let us check what is it that they want from us or how do we supposed to answer it. B and C. B, transportation. So we were correct on the other side. C, packaging. Again, we were correct. Let us check the next question, good people. What are they saying? State two guidelines for the marketing function, which is C. You see with this question, my, my lovely people, they want you to first know what is marketing function C. If you don't know what is marketing function C, it means you will, you will not be able to answer this question. We say the marketing function C, it's packaging. So they want us to know, they want us to know, or they want us to give the guidelines, which we said we can also call them marketing, or we can also call them aspects. One, product information. We said the package must show useful information, which is product identification. We also said it must be convenient to handle this product, easy handling. We also said the material that is used to package the product, it must be recyclable. We also say we must use a health, we must say health risk containers must not be used. We must not use a container that will end up causing toxic or chemicals into the product. We also say the product must protect or the package must protect the product against any mechanical damage. The next question. Name the advantages of marketing function A. Again, we must know the function of market of, of A of, or, 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 or that is there in A. What we said, we said it's processing. So if we're saying it's processing, then now they want what? They want the advantages. Increases the value of the product. Yes. Overcome oversupply of the product. Yes. Allows for easier packaging and handling of the product. Indeed. Easy transport. Indeed. Product job provide job opportunities and also produce or reduce spoilage or increase the shelf life the easy transport it goes with 
the easy transport it goes with easy handling so that's what is required from all of us good people if we can be able to understand it in this manner we will be safe but there are other questions which can come in a form of statement 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 when it comes into the revision lessons i will also provide you with them thank you thank you you must watch it not once not twice but more than three times in order for you to understand if there's something that you don't get you pause you go back a little bit you get that information and you end up understanding each and every concept that we have here thank you thank you we'll come with 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 the the supply and demand later on